Yes, I always say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Remia, and we're playing Cyber Dragons today. We got some crazy new support, Clockwork Knight and Evolution End Burst. This card is DNA Surgery on a spell card. You can make all of your opponent's monsters machines, fuse them into Chimera Tech Fortress, and just go to win the game. It's really that simple. And here's a question for the algorithm and discussion. What is your favorite anime deck out of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX? Mine is probably Cyber Dragons, that might be really basic, but... You know, I, I like what I like. Anyway, let's jump into the games. Cyber Dragons, go in second. And we're up against Branded, this deal, Despia, whatever. So we'll skip ahead. All right, so they did the standard stuff, but we have Lightning Storm. But of course, they have some more things. And, yeah. Kaiju the Mirror Jade. And they Ash our emergency, but that doesn't matter because we have Machine Dupe. They have Maxi, but who cares about that? We're gonna kill him in the face. So here, we can play Clockwork Knight! New card just came out in the game. I love this card, it's so cool. So it changes all monsters on board to be machine type, which if you don't know, means we can just fuse all of their monsters away for free because of this guy, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. This is an old card, I played this when I was a kid, and this is just DNA surgery but as a spell card. And the attack increase actually does come up. It's not going to help us win this game, but it does help us win games in the rest of the video. So. And that's it! <laughs> Use away their entire board! That's 8k! Might as well win. Yeah, on to the next one. Cyber Dragon! Go in second. And we are up against uh, Chaos, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and they have the sleeves too, I didn't notice that before. This is pretty cool. I actually really love the Chaos deck. I think it's really interesting. They just got a bunch of new support recently. And of course Chaos Ruler uh, maybe should be banned at this point, but you know, oh well. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see what they can do, but uh, we have Clockwork Knight, which is just so good at breaking boards. Um, man, Cyber Dragons just feels really good right now. Uh, we'll kind of let them do their own thing. I think they're going to synchro for the level 10 soon. Does this have a summon cut in? I think it does. Yeah! Looks pretty sick. And they brought back Chaos Ruler, of course. They go for Draco Berserker the Tenyi. Alright, so now in order to break the board, we just have to, you know, try to bait all of their interaction here. Draco probably being the main one, and then this is the branded regained, or one of the, the branded trap cards. So, let's see what we do. Go ahead and summon core. And they activate this just to have it face up. And we go machine dupe, bring out two cyber dragons, and go for cyber dragon Nova. And they don't understand how Nova works, so they're going to destroy Nova, but when Nova is destroyed, we can actually summon a Cyber Dragon from our extra deck. So we're going to go for Cyber Twin Dragon, because as much as I love and Twin being able to attack twice was always better, even back in the day. And Clockwork Knight showing its incredible power. Just DNA surgery on a spell card is so good because we can fuse away almost their entire board. Uh, the reason we can't fuse away Chaos Ruler is because they brought it back from the graveyard with its second ability and uh, because it would be banished if it leaves the field and we technically have to send their monster to the graveyard, we can't use it as fusion material for Fortress, uh, but again, it really does not matter. Um, and the attack boost off of Clockwork Knight really just showing off that it it can matter sometimes maybe not in this game but it will come up later on so seeger gonna make our cyber twin dragon a 5400 <laughs> and that's without power bond that is that is almost power bond cyber twin dragon levels right there but ggs that was a cool game 
All right, what do you got for us, opponent? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, um, did I win the coin toss in this game? I must have won the coin toss in this game to go second, right? Well, let's just go ahead and skip forward. <laughs> because this is just unfortunate. All right. All right, let's 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 get this over with. Uh, we're going to start Imperm to get rid of the Infinity Negate, summon uh, our Cyber Dragon, and then fuse away for our own Fortress. Fortress, of course, cannot be used as fusion material, so we can use the rest of their monsters as fusion material. And the Cyber Repair Plant, grab a core, and we can do some Galaxy and Hertz shenanigans. If you don't know, Hertz, when it's sent to the graveyard, can search a Cyber Dragon or add one back from graveyard to hand. Um, and then Galaxy Soldier can add a copy of itself, or really any Galaxy monster, but we're using it for the Nova Infinity play. And this is when they choose to go for Overflow, which um, their Cyber Dragon player, they really should know not to destroy. Nova. They should have done it before we exceed summon for Nova and we had the two Galaxy Soldiers and Fortress on board, but it really doesn't matter to be perfectly honest because we have Machine Dupe and Core in hand. So they are going to destroy both. Nova is going to summon a copy of Twin for a Rampage, I guess, and Cyber Dragon Core can Machine Dupe and we can set up our own Infinity, you know, just in case. Um, is this like Nibiru or something? I have no idea what that could even possibly be at this point, but it's not going to make a difference because we definitely win the game here. Um, Rampage gets to attack three times, and with Seeger, is a 4200, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, Cyber Dragons beat Cyber Dragons. Cyber Dragons. I'm going second. We're up against uh, Machina Earth Machine. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, friend, but this is not a matchup that is in your favor because we can just use all of your monsters as fusion material for Fortress. Uh, that's kind of the name of the game right now. There they go. <laughs> Galaxy Soldier, Hurts, Subdragon, Galaxy Soldier, do it again. Nova, bring back a Cyber Dragon. <laughs> Man, Cyber Dragon feels so good right now. Plus, Verte is still unbanned for whatever ridiculous reason. And Overload into Rampage. And that's more than enough damage. There you go. Alright, Cyber Dragons. Cyber Dragons. Upstart. Into the Void. Ah, so this is the Utopia FTK, of course it is. Um, well, if you start Imperm, you can pretty much instantly win the game. So they're going to go ahead and summon Numeron Dragon, at which point I will activate Infinite Impermanence. And now they cannot FTK you. So cool, I guess. Um, and then we can just uh, skip to the part where we kill them. Neat. Have a nice day, FTK bot. It's not your fault you were created. All right, we got both of the new cards: Evolution End Burst, Clockwork Knight, and they set a card and pass. Okay, let's speed this up. So, obviously, gonna start our core, and I grab Cyber Repair Plant. Go for Al Mirage, which I don't know why is generic. I Generic Link 1 is just a bad idea. But we can go for the Galaxy Soldier Hertz play to try to set up for uh, Nova Infinity. Nova, summon a monster from our graveyard. They go <laughs> Ghost Ogre. So many people made that mistake recently because now we can win the game. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? They ash the, uh, the Evolution End Burst, but you know, this actually does make the difference, I think, uh, the Clockwork Knight. I guess I didn't do the, the math in my head, but 28 times 2 is 56, plus 21, 
is 77. So yeah, the Clockwork Knight actually did make the difference in that game. Cyber Dragons on the draw. We are up against Kashtira, Shangri-Ira, because they don't know how to spell Shangri-La. Classic Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, Imperm, but they have Solemn Judgment. Okay. Uh, now they're down to 2,500 life points, and we're Cyber Dragons. So we play Core, they play Ash Blossom, of course, but that's fine because we have Machine Dupe. I feel like the only right answer for uh, banishing from the extra deck is Verte, like because we only have one copy of it. I guess you could banish Seeger, but we have. I play two copies of of Infinity, so. Like, why would you ever banish something that has two copies of it in your extract? I, I don't know. So we're going to Machine Dupe, and they go Solemn Judgment number two. Okay, now they're at 1250. Hmm, well, I guess we can just win the game here then, can't we? All right, Clockwork Knight, Fortress, Attack. There we go. <laughs> Two solemn judgments. Wow. Wow. Alright. GG's, I guess. Alright. Cyber Dragons. I'm going second this game. And we're up against uh, Branded Despia Bastille stuff. So I will say that we actually end up losing this game. And this is something I haven't really talked about, I don't think. But if you've noticed, very few of the games I upload are actually losses. It's something like less than 10% of the games I upload are losses, and I just think losses in Yu-Gi-Oh! are normally just incredibly boring games. Like, they just lock you out of playing the game or negate all the stuff you do, and that's not fun content. I just don't think that's very interesting to watch, so I don't even bother uploading those losses. I usually focus on the silly fun decks and them actually working as opposed to, you know, the 40 times I played Jackpot 7 and it didn't work. Like, no one wants to watch that. So anyway, let's let's see what they have here. So we have a Mirror Jade and a Bald Drake, and I think this is the counter trap that they have down. So we're gonna go ahead and imperm the Mirror Jade. Maybe it's not, I don't remember exactly. But we can play Clockwork Knight here and fuse away their entire board. Just six monsters to go into Chimera Tech Fortress, which is just huge. So I'm feeling like really solid. Um, I think we can definitely win the game. Uh, we go Nashter and summon, activate, and they activate this in response, which means they negate my summon of Cyber Dragon which is unfortunate, but fine, because we have one more thing that we can do, and that is Evolution and Burst, and of course they have Ash Blossom. Of course they have Ash Blossom. So we can't actually win this game, and because this is a modern archetype that is stupid broken, um, they have just all the answers. Our monster gets destroyed for some reason, I know why it gets destroyed, guys. Don't. <laughs> it's, it's just because this is a ridiculous deck. So they're gonna do more things. We'll fast forward through because I find it boring, and they don't actually manage to kill us because Clockwork Knight is decreasing their attack. So we will have another chance to uh, to try to beat them here. Okay, cool. So we have 3,500 life points left. We get. Evolution End Burst off the top. So first things first, we Kaiju their Mirror Jade. Evolution End Burst draws us an Overload. We unfortunately don't have more than six machines in Grave, so we have to go for Rampage here. Rampage is going to destroy both of their face downs, and I'm trying to get clever here, and I use Rampage to send Hurts and to send a core because Hertz can add the core back to our hand. Cool, cool. Summon core, activate, go rev system, 
and summon a Cyber Dragon. However, unfortunately, uh, Evolution End Burst comes with one rather large restriction that after you use it, you can only special summon with spell effects for the rest of the turn. So ideally, that would be one Overload Fusion and then you would summon Chimera Tech Overdragon and win the game. That's what it's designed for, um, but we can't go into like an infinity, we can't do anything special here, so we still can't kill them. And because, you know, they're playing a new archetype that is very pushed because Konami wants to sell cards. So we do, unfortunately, end up losing the game. But I thought it was a pretty interesting way to show off how Clockwork Knight worked, and the fact that we fused away six monsters on board with it is still really cool. It, it shows the potential of the card, even in spite of the game's, you know, horrible power creep, so GG's. Well, that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the games. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.